Hey everybody, welcome to Canadian Brewing Channel. Sean and my friend here, Sean. Sean Squared. Sean Squared, oh, that's yeah. it. So our guys, it's been a long time since I did a video and I knew this was gonna happen. It's summertime. And right. uh, myself and Sean, we both have three quarters of an acre each. And uh, there's a lot of shit to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out yep. in the back yep. and other things get busy. But that's okay, so today we're gonna do uh, a review on another Furnace Room beer. And this one's pretty cool. Uh, it's called Fountain Green. And if you read it, people are like, what's that mean? It says NE2 IPA. So this is a New England double IPA. All right, so okay. if you can see that or not, this video might be a little dark. We have to lighten this up with some audio or some uh, special techniques. Mm. Sean's never had this beer before. I really like this beer. Um, New England IPAs were a really big fad for the last few years. They might be dwindling a little bit now, I don't know, but I really do like them. Uh, there's there's another brewery, uh, Nickelbrook, that I like to drink their beer, and they have one called Wicked Awesome, mm. and it's very similar to this. Hmm. You got a good pour there, Sean. Yeah. So maybe I'll read the, uh, the little description yeah. on the back. Go ahead. So 6.1%. Yeah, it's a little heavier than yeah. a regular beer. 473 milliliter can, and this is the background. Furnace Room Brewery. Nestled within the rocky hills of the escarpment along the Black Creek, there was a tiny settlement known as Fountain Green. In the 1840s, industry grew and the railway ran through and smoke could be seen rising from the large stone kilns producing lime. Naturally, the community became known as Limehouse. The kilns can still be seen today along the beautiful Bruce Trail. Hike on into Furnace Room Brewery and enjoy our Fountain of Green hop-centric aromatic double IPA. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And you can tell these labels are put on by hand because yeah. you get some wrinkles on them yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So, taste that. What's that? What do you get? That is nice. Yeah. They're absolutely right when they say hop-centric aromatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what you get. Yep. Yep. You get a nice bit of nose on that and the flavor. There's a lot of flavor in the hops. Very summery. Yeah, it's a very summery beer. Yeah. Um, I, I have to watch it when I drink these because this is a almost a 500 mil beer yeah, and it's 6.1. 6 yeah. Yeah. So this is like drinking uh, if you were buying regular 350 fries, <laughs> yeah. like drinking two. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So if it's summertime too and it's a little warm out, right. you're, you're gonna yeah, want a couple of these. A couple of these and, the, and then you're gonna slow down a bit. Yeah. Um, what I really like about the furnace room because this is who brews them. This is, they're awesome. They're in Georgetown, right at the Georgetown Go Station on the north side. Right. Sorry, the yeah. south side. Um, they've now got even more beers out. They mm. used to start, they had their main four, right, that they go to, but now there's another few more, and we're going to yeah. do more reviews on those. Yeah. This one here is, I just love this one for the yeah. summer. It's, it's, it's a delicious yeah. beer. I love the color. Yeah. You know, it's got that hazy, which an IPA, a hazy IPA would have. You're not right. supposed to see through it. It's, not yeah. supposed, it's supposed to be crystal clear. It uh, keeps a nice head on it. It doesn't just flatten out. It's got a good head retention. Um, I love the flavor. And I think they had to do that too, because the, 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 the stronger the alcohol content is, the more it cuts through with the flavors. Oh yeah? Yeah, so if you have a light beer, like three and a half, four percent, you can actually get away with uh, having lighter flavors in it. But yeah. when you get up around six or more, you have to put stronger flavors in or they'll kill yeah. the flavor of the beer. It cuts right through it. Yeah. And I can't taste the alcohol in that. No. No. It's good. No. This is not a lawnmower beer. No. You will lose a foot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah. yeah you can think of any else other things on that. I'm the flavor is almost like I can taste a bit of a strong peach in the peach background. Or almost uh, grapefruit. There's definitely grapefruit in yeah. the back of your throat yeah. when you drink it. Yeah. And but there's a lingering um, pit of fruit in there too. It's sweet, but then it it, it goes to a grapefruit yeah. because. Yeah. It, it's very great fruity, yeah. and I know that that's one of the things with an IPA they want to be uh, fruity yeah. and uh, and have that melon flavor too. This one does remind me, uh, like I said, a lot of uh, Nickelbrooks. Yeah. Uh, it, it, there's just called Wicked Awesome. Okay. Which yeah. is that's a saying in uh, New England is yeah. Wicked Awesome, so, right? Yeah. It's wicked Awesome. So this here is, like I said, I love how they've done this with a furnace room with the local right. names of yeah. beers and. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, Sean, and this 
picture. Yeah. I, I'll go find it and maybe I'll bring it in one of my other videos. Yeah, yeah. I took photos of this mm. 30 years ago. Yeah. In the winter time, it was a beautiful bridge. It's not there anymore. Um, no, they t they tore it down because oh. it was so old. But then oh. they they put a facade up oh, okay. to make it look like the original bridge, which it does not. Yeah. But it's a stronger, wider bridge, mm. and I'm sure that that's the bridge. Yeah. I'll show you the photos okay. of it, yeah. and it's uh it's just off Fallbrook up here, yeah. just past my house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These are these are really good. Is that the bridge that the troll was under? No, it's not. <laughs> we won't go into the troll. The troll's gone, Sean. The Glen Williams troll is gone. <laughs> That's a side joke. Uh, yeah, if you guys haven't gone to the furnace room, you gotta go. One thing they've done that is really smart, I mean, they've got a few people there that are brewers, and you got a few guys there that are marketing and business. And you can tell when you go in there. Beautiful building. Um, they tried to go through the town to have a food or restaurant in their, in their property, and they couldn't. Oh yeah? From what I heard, oh. they just because of zoning. Oh. So what they do now, is I saw that they had a patio out now with tables, and I'm thinking they were really restricted to only be able to give, give you flights. Right. They couldn't give you full beers because they had no food. Yeah. So I found out through my brother that they now offer food through Uber and skip ah, the dishes. Really? So you can go and sit down, order a beer, and they have a menu of all the different restaurants around. And you can order your favorite food wow, from your cool. favorite restaurant and then have a beer Delivered. on their patio. Wow. That's that's smart. smart. That is really smart. <laughs> that is smart. They, they kind of did this to the <coughs> town. <laughs> yeah. They got around it, which is which is awesome. Wow. Yeah, because wow. sometimes I don't want to say it's political, but it's to do with you know towns and their and they have to yeah. follow rules. Yeah, yeah. It can crush small businesses yeah, sometimes. Yeah, and yeah. these guys got around it. And I think kudos to them because yeah. I want them to to do well. Um, I've always wanted to have a brewery in Georgetown. Yeah. of our own, yeah. you know, in Halton, well, Halton yeah. Hills, really. Yeah. They're not yeah. seeing their George down, they're Halton Hills, yeah. because all this stuff is all about, all around here, yeah. it's all Halton yeah. Hills. That's yeah. good, yeah. So, for those of you who are watching remotely, the Bruce Trail, I don't know if you know about that, but it, it goes on forever. It's a famous trail system uh, in Canada, and uh, it goes all around us. Like, yep. It goes through Halton Hills. We're on it almost every week. Well, Beautiful trail. Bruce Trail's just over here. Yeah. And I wonder if they're gonna do a Bruce Trail beer shot. They hey, should. The Bruce Beer? Yeah, they should. Hey, I know one of the owners that, uh, Blake, you watch, we're like friends on Facebook. Think about yeah, that one. Yeah. I want to see a it Bruce Trail idea. Beer. You heard it here first. That's right. <laughs> give, give us give us some, uh, you know, kudos to that. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I'm glad you guys are doing well. You're expanding. And we salute you guys. And I hope everybody keeps uh, buying, your beer, buying your beers, watch our videos. And cheers, guys. Yeah. This is another review of a delicious beer. Well done. Cheers.